right, this is part two of the law explained. This is the topic that I postponed. The example of sexual sin is in how to sin means breaking Ten Commandments. To be specific, Jesus said in Matthew 5, he says in Matthew 5, verses 27 to 28, You have heard it is written of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, whoever looks at a woman with lust in his heart, has committed adultery of her in his heart already. So, if that means to be an adulterer, okay, you see how it breaks the sixth, seventh commandment, I mean, thou shalt not commit adultery. And then same counts for fornication, uh, having sex before marriage. It is adultery. I mean, you do never know if the one you fornicate with, I mean, most of the time it is not your future husband or wife. So you, so you are an adulterer. And even if you are, let's say, engaged, uh, engagements, they also get cancelled occasionally. And you never know, right? What if... Uh, the day before you get married, you die, for instance. You, you don't know yet. And if you're not married and you, and you have sex with each other, it is adultery. And what is even is marriage, right? Hebrews 13 verse 4, it says, Let marriage be holy among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexual immoral and adulterous. And marriage, it is this, this expression of the gospel, how you, you, you die to yourself, so that the, your significant order may live inside of you in that sense. You die to self, so it's no longer your identity is found in yourself, but your identity it is found in your significant other. That's expression in the gospel once again. Paul wrote, it is no longer I who live, but uh, it is Christ who lives in me, and the, the life that I now live, I live by the power of Christ, right? He wrote something along those lines, but... The point is that both marriage and 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 the gospel it is this covenant. How it's not just Christ, right, who died for us, but but in in return we also die unto Him. Not because it is all well, gospel's works based or anything. That's not what die means. But to die really means okay to to surrender everything. He surrendered everything to us. His his life, his soul. So so we surrender our everything to us. Our life, our soul to Him. And let him be our everything, right? We should not be our own savior. He should be our savior. We should not only be, we should not be our own lords, but he should be our lord. We should not be our own God, but he should be our God. We should not um, decide what our identity is, but let him decide what our identity is, right? It says uh, in Genesis 12, verse 1 in Hebrew, Lech lecha, go to yourself. God said, to Abraham, go to yourself, uh, out of your kind, out of your father's house, out of your country, into the land that I will show you, the promised land, um, Israel, Canaan, it became Israel, and it really represents, right, heaven, is a promised land, and in that land, that, that spiritual realm, Abraham would find this, his true identity, his identity that had been uh, written out for him before he was even born, right? How God, remember how God said to uh, Jeremiah, I knew you uh, be, I knew you before you were born and I formed you in the womb, right? So this, it is this covenant that you tie to yourself and it is uh, the opposite, opposite of sin, right? Because we sin because we live by the flesh, because we live in ourselves, we are selfish, we are really um, put, placing ourselves above all else and and we go after the lustful so desires of our own heart which are sinful we, because we want to to cast and, and and fornicate and all that and we do not want to send our lives to, to Christ even though we are sinners and, and he is our savior and if you uh, if you only want to get married uh, to have sex for instance well it truly it is fornication and i mean it matters because there's also concubines and even that uh, it was still a form of marriage they're still um right what does it say if you if the most of the concubine did not provide food for her and clothes and uh, did not sleep with her um she may go out freely right so there was still this covenant it was still a, a form of marriage it was not uh, exactly marriage and you see how it is still this covenant and and 
especially in marriage, you do not live for yourself, but you live for the other. In First Timothy chapter five, right? Um, yes, in First Timothy chapter five and verse eight. But, but if anyone doesn't provide, doesn't provide for his household, and especially for members, for, doesn't provide for his own, and especially for his households, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. So. If you are married, but you do not fulfill your role uh, in marriage, you do not fulfill your role as a husband or as a wife, and you do not take care right of your, of your own household, you have denied the faith, and you are worse than an unbeliever. And why have you denied the faith? Because, again, the, the, the marriage is an expression of the gospel, how you die to yourself so that the other may live inside of you, and you live to the other, and you live for the other. And you live to serve the other. But this is not the same with homosexual marriages, right? Because God did not uh, allow homosexual marriages because those those are, in fact, I mean, uh, it is partially because um, God said, okay, to men and a woman, uh, be fruitful, right? And all. And, but, uh, I mean, not every wife and husband are fertile, they do not all have children, some adopt children, then you may say, okay, well, what if homosexual couples adopt marriage? Well, still, they, they, it is still not allowed. And, and how do they get those, uh, the, the, that identity, right? It, it, it is not their own identity, it is the identity that, that the world gives them, that Satan gives them, that sin gives them, they tell them, hey, you are a, a homosexual, well, God says, no, I have created you perfect and in my image and for my glory and for my name, and, and I will give you everything, I will give you more than Satan offers you, because Satan, he offered right, all the kingdoms of the earth to, uh, to Christ, but God offers far more to us. And we are still his children, like how Jesus is one and only son. And, and, I mean, we are not his, right? His only, we are not his son as in his begotten, but we are his sons as in his creation. And I said, Jesus is not created. He is God's begotten. He is uh, the image of, of God, right? How, uh, if you look into the mirror, right? The mirror, it's become your image and then your reflection, it is exists out uh, it exists from both you and your image the mirror and the same is with uh, I mean I mean you by looking into the mirror you're not creating your um your 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 reflection but it really exists from you and in the same manner Jesus he, he's not created, but he exists from the Father and that the Holy Spirit. He projects from both the Father and the Son. That's, that, that's how the Trinity works. It is still one God, three different persons, but still one God. And I have project, right? Um, given more examples of, uh, I mean, explain the Trinity and, and how it all makes sense. You could uh, read those, right? Uh, for instance, uh, please define God. It's one of my blogs. I don't think I made the video about it, but you could read it. Either way, to continue with, uh, to not go off topic that much, um, I've explained to you really mar marriage, right? And how it is a covenant and how um, to commit adultery really, really means to, um, to not fulfill your role in marriage. If you're not married, that you cannot fulfill your role in marriage. So if you have sex, right, it is uh, adulterous, it is idolatrous, it is sinful, it is death. It is not life, but death, right? And there's an example of how uh, to sin means to break the Ten Commandments, that's, um, right? Sexual sin, again, to fornicate, it means you... Uh, you, in essence, because you are not married, in essence, whether they will uh, marry someone else or not, you have already um, st stolen them from their f from their uh, future husband or wife. If, if they do not have a future husband or wife, in essence, you've still done so. And to porn, right? To, to, to what's porn, I mean? You are masturbating to something that does not belong to you. You're not married. You're not fulfilling this covenant. It is, uh, again, fornication. And God does not uh, grant us right this um, this nature 
uh, this gift of sex that we could abuse it. Uh, same comes for anything, right? He did not give us uh, wine, right? He done, uh, did not permit us to drink wine so we could get drunk, but, uh, but to, to instead to not abuse us, it and really instead use it for his glory, right? And you may wonder, well, why, how do you use alcohol for his glory? And uh, how do you drink alcohol for his glory? And it really matters more uh, that I make, just trying to make an example of how uh, marriage is supposed to be for his glory. And you are glorifying him by being a faithful uh, husband, faithful wife you know right how jesus said about this um hardening of heart right and it is allowed to defoil if your significant other cheats on you but he, god does not want it he has not uh willfully permitted it right he, he's not endorsing it he's condoning it uh instead of endorsing okay well, why porn is bad and what marriage really is the point is that you understand what marriage is and how it is a covenant, and how to commit sexual sin means to break the covenant. Yeah, I said about God giving us this uh, nature. Well, what's the example of alcohol, right? I mean, uh, how to use for the glory? Well, He wants us to be happy, to be to be thankful to Him, and and alcohol is it is an example of how He should treat His grace, right? We should not abuse it, but should also not we should also not despise it by uh, not. Uh, take anything right of it because we should accept him as our savior instead of trying to save ourselves we should um, in that spiritual manner drink alcohol drink the, the alcohol of his salvation and not try to save ourselves by not drinking uh, alcohol uh, again the spiritual language i'm not saying that you need to drink alcohol in order to go to heaven but that's also why right he said uh when he gave this wine right this uh, cup of wine to his disciples he said this is my blood drink it it's not cannibalism i mean did not say this literally his blood but he's saying okay if you drink this my life will be inside of you if you accept my grave grace my saviorship you will be saved and if you uh, accept my lordship right we, we should not only accept our save but also our, it's our lord and as our lord means that we not drink too much of that alcohol. Did he does not give this uh, this big bin uh, of alcohol, but he really gave just just this small wine cup, right? Does not mean that God's grace is small. What is really uh, what that shows is that he does not want us to abuse it. He does not permit us to abuse it. So. To drink it with measurement, it, it means to uh, confess him both as our Lord and Savior. And the same with, right, uh, sex. If, if you do, do it the right way, in this, uh, inside of this marriage, inside of this covenant, and if you, um, you know, you're just enjoying it, but you're really connecting, really uh, sacrificing yourselves to each other. That's what, that's what, that's what marriage is for. You, you, you sacrifice yourselves to one another and you you create this household and again expression of the gospel if you really if you fornicate right you you have denied the faith you have denied uh, god's saviorship uh, or, or lordship i mean but if you do not uh, fulfill your um your role as a husband or wife or concubine, right? Then you have denied the 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 the, 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 the saviorship in that sense. And I'm not trying to say like how it says in the hadith that if uh, if the wife does not sleep with uh, her husband, that the angel casts her into mourning. I'm not trying to say that. But what I'm saying is it is still your own choice. But if you um, are not again fulfilling your role right um that's why a concubine being called leave if that if her master was not fulfilling his role in that marriage in that sort of marriage that's the end of the video god bless you